Hi. My name's Lynn and this is my cash stopping journey. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you taking the time to do so. And I also appreciate those who have subscribed. Can't believe I'm up to 35 now, which is fantastic. I didn't think I'd get sort of, you know, even 20 subscribers. So I appreciate every one of you that have um, joined in my journey um, and continue to give me encouragement and that with your kind comments and um, that. Today's video is really exciting. Um, I do my own Christmas shopping um, for two reasons. <laughs> One, so I can get what I want. Um, no, I'm only joking. Um, no, it's so I don't want my kids to spend, you know, be spending their money on me. I'd rather them put it towards, you know, something for themselves, um, you know, into savings. They're all young adults, so my eldest has, you know, got kids, so I'd prefer her to spend money on the kids rather than on me. Um, so in saying that, yes, I do my own Christmas shopping, um, and I've sort of had a bit of a splurge. Um, some of you may have already seen that Renee from Just Roll It In Glitter did a advent calendar um, this year, and... I purchased one. <laughs> um, I know that she has put out a spoiler. So if you've seen that, you probably already know what I'm about to show you. Um, I haven't watched it. I promise. I promise I haven't watched it. Um, my parcel arrived yesterday. Um, today's Tuesday. Um, and I know that she posted it. Um, well, I saw it not long after saw the posting not the actual video um after not long after my parcel arrived so i've been sort of eager to um show you what it's all about um i have opened the parcel um just the satchel part of it um now i was so shocked because of how big it is i was not expecting something this big um it's amazing so I'm excited to see what's in it. Now, I did open the envelope part of it because I thought it was instructions on it. It just got my name on it. Just thought it was instructions on what to do. Um, and there is something in the envelope. So, first of all, there was just a letter from Renee. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that quite a lot of my products are from Renee. Like, um, my entire... Wedding binder, health binder, Disney binder are all her products, as as well as quite a few um, things throughout my other binders, including some custom-made um, ch um, challenges that she made for me. Um, and, yeah, so I love her products, um, and hence why I was eager to get this. Um, I hesitated on the size to get, but then I thought... Oh, there's going to be something that I'd want and I'll regret not getting, you know. So I, I did splurge and go for the 12 pack, the um, 12 days of Christmas. So here we go. Uh, dear Lynn, thank you for um, taking a chance on supporting my small business, especially in a mystery challenge. Over the last few months, I have worked really hard to put these items together for this advent calendar so i hope you enjoy if you have any queries please reach out merry christmas and happy new year renee and i'm sure i'm going to love them so i didn't pull out what was in here but there is something in this envelope 2024 in 2024 so this is to save 2024 dollars in 2024 Actually, there's more than one in there. Oh, wow. So that's a 52-week one. So you can put $24 away each week. And that saves $1,288. No. Um, then there's a 12-month one. So you can put $24 away each month 
that's easily achievable, that one. And most likely that one. And what's this one? Uh, 26 week savings challenge. So $12 a week or $24 a fortnight. Oops. And this is goes from $10 right up to $100. So you can put in any amount each week. And this is to save $2,024. Ooh, exciting. Definitely do those two. Ooh. We'll see how the budget goes and how we can fit this in. But I'm sure there's other things that I'm going to have to try and fit into the budget too. So that's that first one. Now, these are all individually wrapped. Oh, what could they be? They're all numbered. So I'm not sure what number that is. Exciting. I'm intrigued what these could be. Now, I ummed and ahed. Oh, this feels like a binder. I um I've um been asked about what to do. Um, I know it's not open. It's just on what to do with these as far as um. Ooh, that's something hard on that. I know I'm not going to have the time to open them individually on like one each day. Excited. This is it's just literally like a kid on Christmas morning. Literally, yeah, like a kid on Christmas morning. This is so exciting. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I hummed and hard about whether to I know I'm not gonna have the time to um open one each day to show you. And so I was wondering whether I should um, open them all now, open a couple now, or wait until Christmas Eve um, and do it when I know I'm going to have time. But I'm impatient and can't wait that long. So I'm definitely going to open a couple now, and put them in order. 11... Nine, eight, seven. Now I did see one, one, two, three, five, I'm not sure these black ones what the numbers are because I can't see anything on them. So okay, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, so we'll do it that way. Oh. So again, if you've already seen Renee's um, video, you know what's gonna what's coming. But if you haven't, or if you've bought one of these and haven't watched her video, don't watch 
because then you'll see. Now, what's number one? What can it be? Personalized savings challenge. She custom made this with my name on it. 5, 10, 15, 20. So that's a nice low budget, a low budget one. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm definitely going to be doing that. So what's that? 20, 40, 60, 80. Four hundred dollars. Awesome. Thanks, Renee. Okay, number two. What's number two? Something that's soft. Oh, it's got something hard in it as well. This is glittery, like just roll it in glitter. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I actually haven't got a, I've got a, like a little uh, a makeup purse thing that. I never had never used it was brand new, so it was like a pencil case type thing um, that I use as my bank bag. Um, so I'll be using this from now on for money back to the bank or money collecting from the bank. Okay, what's in number three? Okay. <coughs> this is to get, you know, your one month, two month, three month, or whatever I need. <coughs> so I'm guess I would say you put your category, whether it be car, retro, whatever. How much you need to save. And I would guess that you'd break it down. This would be, yeah, yearly, yearly bills I'd say you'd use this for. Similar to something else that I've seen, but. Great. We'll try and figure out how to use that and put it to good use. I'm just going to push these to the side a bit so we can open open properly. So this is number four we're up to. <sighs> a right, a right, a dice game. Oh, wow, bit weird. Yeah, not like normal dice. They're um, it's like a spongy rubber. How cool! And this is oh, there's more than one. 
Okay, we've got to shut the box. Odds and evens. Twenty six week roll. So roll the dice and save whatever you roll. Okay. Bingo. Okay. Roll and save. Okay, I could use this like um. Allocating money to, like when I'll finish the challenge, I think. Yeah, allocate envelope for, yeah. Cool. And another a roll, I've actually got one of these, but it doesn't matter because I can still use it in a different way. The one that I've got, i doing it as whatever I land on is what. I'm saving, but this one I can do the other way by one to three is a certain amount and four to six is a certain amount. Oh, that's cool. So that's two, three, four, five, six games to put into my game day. These dice are so cool. Good thing they don't make that noise, you know, the the noise that um dice make. So you can do it like quietly. Now I'm excited to know what this is. <sighs> Something in a box. I hope it's all still in frame and that you're all able to see exactly what I'm opening. Okay, doesn't tell me anything, but oh, we have to see. Ooh, ooh, it's something purple, which is my favourite colour. Oh, awesome! Oh, I love this. Oh, yep, I love it. Love, 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 love it. Because this is the this is the calculator I normally use, which is still good, but I love this. My favourite colour, purple. Love the buttons. This is definitely going to be, definitely going to be getting well used. I'll pop that to there and put that to there. Okay, number six. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, we have pencils. Colour pencils. And a colouring book. <sighs> okay, this is so to do like um, if you've watched Renee's channel, she did a um, a colouring challenge that she had a picture and she coloured parts of the picture and each section she coloured was a certain amount. Um, now I do colouring several times a week. Um, mindfulness colouring it's a way for me to switch off um, and just relax and you know concentrate on that so I've got several mindfulness books and I've actually got one a new one um, that I haven't used yet that I was going to implement into next year um, as I don't like to copy what other people are doing, but I thought, why not do something that I enjoy that save money at the same time? So I was going to copy um, Renee's idea and do that, but I'll be using this instead. 
This is so cool, my big thank you colouring book. These are quite easy too. Not so not so detailed. Oh, I like that one. That's a cool one. So I could make each each heart, you know, two dollars or five dollars or oh awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And then she's given the pencils as well. Amazing. Okay, number seven. What does number seven entail? You probably noticed that um, I'm just continuing, <laughs> continually opening these. Um, I did say that I was going to open a couple, but um, I'm sort of like excited. <laughs> and I don't know when I'm going to get another chance to be able to open any. Oh my lord, how tiny is this? <laughs> this is so tiny. She's gone from, um, let's come on, done. She's gone from one extreme to the other. If you've seen, if you've seen in her um, in her shop, she's got a giant um, ultimate challenge folder. So she's gone from the giant ultimate challenge to this tiny little mini challenge. Okay, so that's to save fifty dollars. That's to save a hundred dollars. Let's just say two hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, or a thousand dollars. These two might be pushing the budget, but these two are definitely achievable. And this one might be a slow burn, but <laughs> this is so cool. I don't know, like literally, it is tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Like, that's... That's how big it is. I love this. This is so cool. <laughs> well, you could fit that just in, you know, in, in your bag or something and you could do it... Do it on the fly, you know, if you're out... Shopping and you've got an extra five dollars or something. Oh, love it. Thank you. Okay, number eight. What does number eight give us? Scratchies. Oh my lord. Look how many there are. Oh, it's all the Disney princesses. Ariel. There's my Belle. My beautiful Belle. I love Belle. Cinderella. Rapunzel. Tiana. Snow White, Pocahontas, Milan, uh, Jasmine, Marinda, Moana, Anna, Aurora, and Elsa. And I noticed as I was going through those, they're between five and twenty dollars. So some are just five to ten. And others between five and twenty, so that's really achievable. I could do hang on, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
do it. I was going to say I could do one a month and have it as a monthly monthly challenge but and have two bonuses or just scratch them and do them in order or see how we go. I love them. Hang on, I've got to put Belle on the front. I've got to put my Belle at the front. Where is she? I'm becoming obsessed with the scratchies since, um, like I thought you would have seen, if you've seen the, um, her new scratchies that I bought just recently. Um, and then I've bought some also from Amanda from Mum Wife Budget Life. Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait to start them. Thank you. Okay, next, number nine. I really apologise, Renee, if you see this and um, see that I'm opening all these at once um, and that probably wasn't your intention. Um, more! Okay. okay, we have a bit of a snag here, there we go, a bit of a bend in the thing, um, yeah I apologise if it wasn't your intention to have them opened all at once, um, but I just got too excited and I didn't want to wait until later to be able to open them all together later knowing that I wouldn't be able to do them every day so we have um, Malef Maleficent I can never pronounce her name Hans Boo the Witch Jafar Okay, I get it. These are the villains that go with the princesses. Shun Yu. The evil queen. Um, Dr. Facilia. Mother Gothel. Evil stepmother Gaston, this evil Gaston Ursula, Tama Tamataka. I don't know which one that's from. I have no idea. And Governor Ratcliffe. And again, these are all from no higher than $20. So all achievable again. So that's the, that's the, um, the, what did I just say? Apologies. Um. The villains that go with the princesses. So what I might do is have two running at the same time. Maybe have the prince, the princess, and the corresponding villain, and alternate between the two. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to find find a binder to put all these in. So I think. My others are, oops, my other challenge binders are quite full. Okay, I'm not going to force that one in, so I'm just going to put that to the side for the minute. Okay, number 10. I've 
putting my finger over that so you can't use my code. <laughs> a gift voucher to Renee's shop. Now, she knows this is going to be spent well. This is going to be spent well. And valid until the 30th of the 6th. That was smart. Can't use it for her birthday month. <gasps> that doesn't matter. I've had my eye on a couple of things recently, but um, because I purchased the advent calendar instead, um, I'm going to wait till next year. But there's no, this is definitely, oops, I'm definitely going to be utilising this. Thank you so much, Renee. Very appreciative of that. Very, very appreciative. So we have number 11. And hopefully we're still recording here. Oh, it's my high priority savings. Actually, this is, yeah, I need, need something to prioritise. What have we got here? Yeah. Okay, so you whatever you're saving for, that's a high priority at the time. Okay. So if it's, maybe if it's a birthday or car maintenance or, um, you know, you're saving for a new phone. Um, this is what I'm guessing anyway. Oh, okay. Like, all right, envelopes. Never seen envelopes like this before. They're, it's like a, it's like a um, it's not a milky, but it's like a a thicker. We got well, that's a good idea. You got the tabs of. Okay, so to go one, two, three, four, five, say you have your five categories and you're going to put some money into category three and you just go to number three. I like this. I like this idea. So when something becomes a high priority, Put it into here and then when it's no longer a high priority I can put it back into my normal normal um binder and then add something else to it very good and last but not least oh could it be could it be we've gone from the mini to the ultimate. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the same size. As, so this is what I mean. The, the, this is the size of her ultimate and this is the size of the mini. See the difference? Okay, so this is a 100 envelope challenge. Now, I've actually got her 100 envelopes for the square little pouches. Okay, so this is doing it this way. I have seen these, yes. So doing it in the binder in the sleeves rather than doing it in the envelopes. Okay.
I'm beginning to like A5 stuff now. It's easier for my old eyes to see without needing to put glasses on. After getting the, the challenges that I got from Amanda. And, yeah. I'm, I'm really liking the A5. But that's one of the things I have been eyeing off with Renee's store is the ultimate challenge. So I will probably be putting my voucher towards that. But I love a lot of this. Mm. But again, putting this kind of money away each week is going to be hard. But I could possibly do it, I don't know, doing a little bit each week. Let me know what you guys think of whether when you do a challenge, right, and you complete it. I mean, I haven't completed a challenge yet, so, you know, I haven't haven't reallocated. But if you finish a challenge, normally you would reallocate it <coughs> to your categories of um, your sinking funds, um, like, you know, birthdays or home deposit or what have you is it wrong or have any of you used a completed challenge to then boost another challenge because i think that's the only way i could accomplish some of these high numbers um unless i put my entire challenge money that i've put aside um the challenges just to this but then I wouldn't be able to complete any of my other challenges which defeats the purpose so if I was to do say a $300 challenge and put maybe $100 towards this and then the rest towards sinking funds is that is that wrong is that something that I could do is that like you know does it defeat the purpose of putting doing a challenge to utilise it for sinking funds. I don't know. Let me know what you think anyway. So that's the 12 days, the 12 um, individual presents. I'm so stoked. So just a recap. So we've got the A500 envelope challenge, which is with the sleeves. We've got the high-priority savings binder, so you can – the five highest priorities that you currently got you can save for. And we've got a $25 gift voucher for Renee's store. We've got the mini um, challenge set. That is so cute. I can't get over this. <laughs> it's so cute. Then we've got the dice challenges. Awesome calculator. I love this. Absolutely love it. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Then we've got the um, colouring challenge and pencils. Now, I will enjoy doing this because, as I said, I do colouring almost every day. Um, at least several times a week anyway, just to switch off. I've got that many mindful colour mindfulness coloring books um it's not funny <laughs> um and then we've got the um goals ahead tracker so to help get you know one two three five months ahead um okay so she's done it in fortnights that you can mm, yeah this this is similar to another one that I've seen um, on a different channel that um, I think she's just customized it but I'll work out how to use that then we've got a money wallet in glitter to correspond with her name on um, her obviously her name is just roll it in glitter so it's glittery but her uh logo is pink so 
that's Renee to a T. Pink glittery. I'll put that to use. And then there's my personal challenge, which I love. The fact that you've gone to the effort to make something personal for me. That's so awesome. I really, really appreciate that. That'll definitely be getting put into the next year's challenges. And then we've got the 2024 in 2024. So there's, I think there was four different types in there. Um, not sure if I'll be able to achieve this one, but we'll see what we can achieve. And then lastly, we'd have to say this is my favourite. Other than, um, yes, I mean, I love the love the calculator and I love the mini the mini challenge books. I'm, actually, I love everything, um, but this would have to be my favourites. Um, the Disney princesses, obviously, with Belle. Scratch-offs I'm becoming obsessed with. So, yeah, the scratch-offs and, I'm um, sorry, the princesses and the villains. Um, oh, there's just so many challenges to choose from, and I've already got so many sort of set up ready to start for next year. So <laughs> I'm going to be inundated. Um, no, I think I'm going to just have to... Pick and choose a few. You know, I'll do a couple of these, a couple from Amanda, a couple from Tammy, and a couple that I've got aside um, that I've purchased off other people as well. And, yeah, so that's that. Renee, you've outdone it. Um, you've guessed you've put a lot of hard work into this, a lot of thought. It's amazing. Um, you've done a great job. I'm really excited to achieve some of these and I hope that um, going forward I can share some of these challenges, you know, completing some of these challenges with you all. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've made it this far, leave me a Christmas emoji because this is a Christmas present and I'm just excited, <laughs> excited, excited, excited. Um, also, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. It would be really appreciated. It helps me out um, to, you know, prom promote my channel and share my journey with other people. Um, until next time, keep chasing your dreams because only then they will come true. Thanks, guys. Bye.